Hello. So I am absolutely crazy about my new Sennheiser headset noise cancelling microphone. I hope that it's recording well for you. And it's also hiding the air conditioner noise, which would be fantastic because sometimes I have to turn that thing off when I'm doing recordings of podcasts and that can bring a new sense of urgency to things that are not necessarily needing of that. Um, it's also a funny thing too because this one was um, obviously packaged for, oh, I'll talk about these in a moment, um, obviously packaged for business use, call center use and things like that. And, uh, you know, there, there used to be a joke that people of a certain age, um, my age actually, um, I'm the tail end of Gen X, which is now a some kind of weird distinction. Anyway, um, we all at some point, most of us um, who are, you know, getting close to 40 or who are mid 40s, um, we probably worked in a call center at some point, And I absolutely did. I worked in a call center, third shift. Um, actually, third shift's good for me um, because it allows you to not be around the usual um, kind of office socialization. People keep to themselves third shift, and that's just fine with me. Um, <laughs> I was there to earn a paycheck. Anyway, the cool thing about working in that call center at third shift was basically we were thrown into the fire. Um, it was uh, <laughs> tech support and refills for prepaid cell phones, and this was the year 2000. And prepaid cell phones were not really a cool thing. Um, I actually... I love both of my phones are T-Mobile prepaid and I love them and it's a great service and I get insane I pull insane data through there um yeah so anyway um what I'm trying to say is being in that intense crazy call center environment at a weird hour with very angry customers on a regular basis really helped me develop a lot of phone skills and a lot of just general life skills that I was able to use in the company that I was starting. And so by the time I got around to taking the occasional sales call and large uh, credit card orders over the phone, I had already done credit card orders with um, some of the most hostile customers in the world. So anyway, I'm just trying to say if you haven't put your feet in that particular fire and you're looking to get some skills, call center work, not a bad option, especially if you're doing that kind of, um, you know, hostile uh, situations. Now, speaking of work stuff, and I didn't mean to say, these are so you guys know that I'm a big fan of the tomato-timer.com, uh, Pomodoro technique. Um, a lot of times with very tedious tasks or, you know, just, you know, things that you just need to get started on, the Pomodoro technique is fantastic. You work for 25 minutes and then you take a five-minute break. Now, this little set I got on Amazon, this is actually a 30-minute timer, but that's okay. We don't have to be exact. And a little five minute timer. So this was marked as work and play. And I'm going to try to sit these down where I won't break them. But it came with this little card, the work play routine. And basically it's talking about that same interval that I showed you. Now the other cool thing about these is even if you don't have a procrastination problem, which I don't, um, but it will remind you, hey, step up from your desk and go do something. Go be mobile. You can do a lot in five minutes. You can do a lot of push-ups, pull-ups, squats, kettlebell swings if that's appropriate. That would be great. Um, goblet squats with your kettlebells. Anyway, I'm going to be using these. You'll probably see them around. Um, I think they were about $24 for the set on Amazon, and they came packed impeccably. So anyway, that is a couple of little things that, uh, yeah. So anyway, I've got to interview somebody using my new awesome noise-canceling headset, and I can't wait. I hope you're having a great holiday weekend.